Hi. Uh, Mrs. Rowe, I read the book called The Final Gambit, which is set in present time in a mansion um, with this family and the billionaire who inherited this family, Avery Grams. Um, the characters are, Avery is really the main character, and then uh, Jameson Hawthorne, Nash, Xander, and uh, Grayson Hawthorne. Um, and then her friends, Rebecca and Thea. And then the bad guys, Eve, and then Eve's grandfather. And then also her, uh, the guy who helped her, kind of raise her, uh, dad, you could say, um, Tobias Hawthorne, um, Jr. So, uh, Avery kind of changes throughout the story because she starts to, at the beginning of the story, she starts to help this girl, Eve. But then she slowly realizes throughout the story that she's using Grayson, Jameson, and all of them. Try to figure out stuff to make her grandfather happy and try to get back at Avery in this fortune. Because her the guy who originally had the billion dollars uh, stole it from this guy. Um, and also, Grayson also changes because he starts to develop a relationship with this Eve he starts to keep going 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 and then sh she finally shows who she truly is to him and he completely changes his mindset on her and just doesn't like her anymore um theme of the book um it's a really like a mystery adventure book because you like really never know what's gonna happen but it's also like a mystery book because they're solving riddles they are working through problems they're just doing all these things that this old dead billionaire set up for them to do because he thought 20 steps ahead. And this g bad guy has the same kind of riddle in him. And so he just keeps sending them riddles and they have to work through that and get through the problems. Um, some events were in the book. Uh, so Eve, at the beginning of the book, comes to Avery, says she needs help with Toby, and then they work through this. They're trying to figure out this mystery. Then they get to the part where Avery finally is like, wait, this girl is bad. She is not good. Uh, she's using us. She's just trying to get information and get her grandfather to be able to penetrate us. So then she finally works through the mystery and tries to tell them. And nobody believes her. And so she keeps Avery by herself with her friend named Oren keep working to figure it out and she ends up finding where uh the body of the grandfather um the grandfather's son would have been um but it's gone so Eve then finds her and tries to pull a gun on her and Oren her bodyguard uh, pulls a gun on Eve and tells her to bring it down and then ends up arresting her. And then that shows Grayson that, that Eve is not a good person in general. And then they keep working throughout the story and Toby, at the beginning of the story, got captured by this grandfather. And everybody thought Eve was on Toby's side. But Eve actually trapped Toby. With the grandfather which we end up figuring out way far into the book and then so they work through this work through this and then she ends up trying to devise a plan to get him back and then he also the grandfather takes another person from her so now she has two people and then they go to help find this person and then they try to devise a plan she just keeps trying to figure out a way, figure out a way, figure out a way. And then they're trying to find this body because that's what the grandfather wants. He wants his son's body back to him so he has clothes. And then he wants to also have the fortune that she has. So she ends up finding the body. She ends up reporting it to the police so that she doesn't get caught with it. Like she killed him and then she'll get illegal uh, things thrown towards her. So then they devise a plan to uh, finally get these people back. But then the Hawthorne brother realized they, he wasn't with them at all. 
and he gives himself up to the bad guy and ends up trading himself for one of the people. So then she goes to the house, um, gives uh, this bad guy a chess set, and she ends up having one of these coins that um, kind of says that you have favor with the bad guy, like the grandfather, and it gives you like a fifth um, percent of his stake. So she ends up showing it to the guys to be able to get into the house, and she ends up challenging this guy to a game of chess. And then he brings up Toby, he brings up Eve, and then they all play chess, six games of chess. And so they end up devising a deal. And at the end, um, Toby ends up having to change his name back to Blake, which is what his original name was. And then Avery ends up saving Grayson, saving the other girl, and making sure that he will never hurt them again. And then uh, Eve ends up getting the entire bad guy's fortune because Avery tricked them into doing that, to making her seem that she was a bad chess player. And then <clears throat> Avery ends up going back. Toby ends up being fine, but he is now kind of a slave to this guy. And then they end up uh, counting down the day so she actually inherits all these billions of dollars. And at the end of the book, she ends up donating over 94% of the 10 or 30 billions of dollars that she has. So they interview about it. Everybody's like, whoa, that's crazy. And then the interviewer asks, uh, why would she do that? And then she says that she's still being kind of selfish because she is saving $2 billion. And then she ends up saying, after you get into the billions, it's not really about the money anymore. It's about the power. And she doesn't want that much power. So she devises a charity that develops all this stuff and it just brings all the Hawthorne brothers together and ends up just keeping them st stable and that's how the book ends. Um, I like the fact that all these things are happening at once, but it also can be overwhelming sometimes. So maybe slow it down kind of thing and introduce little things at a time. and. Um, also, I didn't really like how there were little details that you could have easily just walked right over and missed, but I do like how they use the little details at the beginning of the book to throw in at the end. Um, and then I would probably give this book probably like a eight and a half out of ten, maybe nine. And then I think if you like mystery books, adventure books, kind of like, also like even like love story books, because... Avery and Jameson are like in a relationship throughout this and there's so many relationships intertwining with all of this uh, billions of dollars and all throughout the story and yeah.